The following video is not made for kids under 13. If you are not 13 years old, please exit out of the video now. And please, YouTube, do not sue me. What's up guys, Liam up here, and I'm back with another part of what if Izuku had Ragna's powers. This is part 12. In the last part, Izuku hanged out with Jiro. She found out about his past and promised to always be his friend. Not only that, they also found out that the sports festival is coming up and all of them need to get ready to train. And with that said, Let's get into this. But with Izuku and Jin preparing to train, Jin wanted to train with Izuku. However, Izuku told him that he should train by himself. Is that they're gonna be fight? Who knows what's gonna happen during the sports festival? They may even have to go against each other. So it's best to have their own tricks for themselves. Own tricks for themselves after all. As Jin saying, is feeling down about this but says okay brother if you say so and the two as Inko is basically crying tears of joy that both her sons are doing are training so hard to become heroes as they try to calm down their mother and tell them that everything will be fine and soon after the two leave with Izuku training his trying to give it his best and figure out new ways he can use well soul leader as he re as he begins thinking maybe he could create a wing from blackout as he creates a black creates a single black wing on the on the right on his right back as he tries to fly but realize it's no use he it's not that he's too heavy, it's not it's just that Soul Eater doesn't have the ability to allow Izuku to fly and everything. And wonders what he could do to try and fly. Or at least try and get some get some higher airtime. As he begins thinking, he decides to use the blades blue. As he thinks maybe using its ability to a map to rewrite whatever Izuku thinks of. As he as he recites his restriction 666 release. Dimensional interference field deployed. Blaze blue activate. As the entire as his darkness begins to swarm everywhere, he creates his wing and imagines thinking on him floating and flying with this singular wing. As soon as soon as he thinks it, he actually flies, and he's floating in the air with this wing, thinking, "Oh God, this is awesome! This is so damn amazing!" Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah. As he begins flying all over the woods, he would be training at Dagobah Beach, but he gave that spot to Jen, since it's a good place to test it, sent to use his ice without any. Well, anybody, well, getting hurt using the ice is a good, is a good place to shoot off any ice attacks. While he's in the forest, flying all over, the, flying through the, flying through the woods and through the trees and everything, as he thinks, huh, I guess the blaze blue really does access quite a bit. As he begins wondering, but never been able to. Is it because of one for all? Wait a minute. One for all. I gotta ask all my to ask some questions. I have a theory on why the Blaze Blue works like this. And why I'm only able to access one for all through it. While thinking this, he soon feels a presence. A presence he hasn't felt in a long time. As he soon feels like He's going, he's terrified and is saying, please, please don't let it be you, master. 
as he's saying, huh, so you're even able to sense that kid? Even after all the years, you haven't been training with me. As soon after, a man with an o a man that looked like a cat, wearing an o orange cloak and carrying two swords on his back, soon appears in front of Izuku in a tree and is saying, Master, it's sorry. I mean, I'm sorry I haven't been training with you in a while. It's just that, ah, don't worry about it, kid. I know you have you been busy, especially being a hero. Going to UA and all. Congrats. Should have told me this in the very beginning, if anything. And it is Izuki saying, I apologize. I truly am. In case you guys were wondering, Izuku, the person that Izuki learned martial arts from and learned his fang style, the self taught fighting style that he uses when he creates claws, fangs, and blades from black, from, well, soul eaters. Soul Eaters, well, Darkness. This was all thanks to Jubei, his master. And right, that said, let's get back into this with Jubei saying, yeah, yeah, I can see you're training pretty well. Don't let me stop you. If anything, all I wanted to do was say, was say hello to an, old, to an old student of mine. That being you, kid. As he's saying, thank you, master. And I promise. I'll win the sports festival for you to show what you taught, everything that you've taught me. I promise. As Jubei saying, don't go all like that, boy. If anything, all I want to see is you give it everything you got to show them what you can truly, what you're truly made of. That you're no villain. That you truly are a hero. As Izuki says, yes, thank you. And bows his head. As Jubei leaves, Izuku feels like basically lets his guard down for a bit. Says, oh god, that was scary. Jesus, I didn't think Master would actually come all the way out here just to tell that to me. Thought he was pissed. Oh, maybe I should try and check on him from time to time. I also promised Saya that I would see her today. As he gets, after training a bit, he decides to head head to the hospital and spend time with Saya. Well, after that. Also, you guys may be wondering why Izuku was only able to access One For All through the Blaze Blue. Which, he's able to access almost all of One For All through the Blaze Blue. That doesn't just mean the stock power and superhuman strength and speed. That also means, well, all of the past quirks of One For All users, if any of you who have read the manga, knows that Izuku is now going to be able to access the quirks of past One For All users. He's already accessed one, so it doesn't, so he plans on, so now Izuku is able to access the others as well. In this, he was able to access Nanashimura, All Might's past predecessor quirk and that being float she's able to fly in the air through certain periods of time and thanks to this izuku's one wing is now able to fly however izuku is not able to access one for all unless he access the blaze blue and and once again the blaze blue is only a one-off so he can only use it once per day so yeah, it's more as a last resort than anything. Other than that, Izuku's training keeps going on and he does pretty well until one day. While he's training, he soon, in he soon senses another presence, thinking that it's his master, but it's not. If anything, it's somebody he, ha he doesn't know and says, all right, Care to explain who you are, damn it? You've been here for at least the past hour or so. As she as she, as the woman comes out, and Izuku sees that she's wearing a UA, well, gym uniform, and she's saying, "Huh, you go to UA?" And it seems same same goes to me. 
as she's saying, oh, I know who you are, Izuku Midoriya, as the, as this girl is, has a tan skin, a scar on, a scar on her face, and pure, and pure white hair, the same as Izuku's, as he wonders, who the hell is this girl? I've never met her before, and is saying, you sure we've met? You go to general studies or I'm in class 1B, the same hero course class as you. As he's saying, oh yeah, I guess that makes sense. Sorry, don't really know much about class 1B. No, no offense, I'm not saying that none of you are good and all anything like that. After saying that, she says, you really know how to piss people off even when you're not trying to. As Izuki saying, yeah, I get that a lot, but I really mean it. Tell me, uh, characters, since you know who I am, can I ask on what's your name? And she's saying, you don't deserve my name. All is that I'm going to tell you is, you can call me Bullet. And it's saying, Bullet? I mean, really? What kind of girl calls herself by a freak, calls her name a Bullet? It makes no goddamn sense. As saying, shut up. S so, I can I ask? I came over here because you're being so annoying. Care to go somewhere else? As saying, screw that. I'm staying here. I've been training here for the past two days or so. As as she's saying, same here. But I've chosen this area for, specifically because of the wide open, because of the lack of trees that will get in my way. Same same here. And as the two feel like there's no, that they're not going to get an impasse, they decide, okay then, why don't we fight for it? See who can, if I, whoever wins is the one who gets to keep the space. The loser has to leave. Got it? As she said, fair enough. And I don't plan on losing. There, as the two get ready and get into a battle stance. As Izuku rushes at, rushes at her, with using his foot, using his fang style, multiple punches and kicks, and tries his bet. While also, however, she's able to counter each and every one of his attacks, slowly and surely, without even trying, without even trying. As he begins getting annoyed, saying, "Damn it! Why is she like this? Screw, ugh, screw this!" And he prepares to use one of his dark claws to, s to slice at her. She dodges this and moves over. Tries to kick Izuku in the back of the head, but he was able to dodge at the, at the perfect time. But while doing this, she prepares a slow kick, basically knocking Izuku on the ground. As Izuku, God damn it! She soon grabs Izuku, Izuku's arm and puts them into a submission hold as saying, will you get off me, damn it? Shit! As saying, will you submit? As saying, not a chance in hell. Creates a blood, creates a claw that swarms around her. She lets go in last minute. Soon after, he extends the claw with more ferocity, with the claw looking more vicious like, like a demon claw. She dodges this and rushes at Izuku at full speed. At full speed, Izuku tries attacking her again and again, but dodges it as he get, begins getting annoyed. Damn it! And all I got is he prepares to use silver until she begins flipping all around him, and then you, and then slamming him to the ground with her legs as he begins saying, "How the hell?" And putting him into another submission hold, she asks again, "Will you submit? If you don't, I will dislocate your all. I will dis like dislocate most of the bones in your shoulder and into your arm as well." And as he says, "Okay, screw this," and activates Soul Eater, and slowly she begins losing her energy, and is wondering, "What the hell? How the hell did you?" As she feels like she can't even move and lets go of Izuku. As Izuku creates a blade 
and points it right at her as she as she's saying damn it I submit after that the fight ends as Ziki's saying god damn even though I, even though I won I feel like I I feel like I lost that fight damn it and it's saying why do you say that you used your abilities and you used your quirk in your best circumstances you should be proud that you were able to win it's saying but I can't use Soul, Eater, Soul Eater's energy drain ability. I have to use only the darkness and the darkness itself. I was told that I can't. And rely and using that to win a fight, it goes it goes against everything. It goes against everything I promised to promised to Aizawa. Damn it all. As Saint Miss realized, it's ridiculous, if anything. It's part of your quirk. Your quirk, without your, without that ability, you wouldn't been able to defeat me. Not only that, you probably wouldn't have been able to defeat many villains as a hero. You have to use every, all your quirk at its full capabilities, its full s- d- disposal, and how you are able to get, get the upper hand on your opponent. You must have all advantages in every single way. Don't you get this, Midoriya? As she's saying, huh, you really don't think it's cheating? Or that I basically just take your energy like that? You're not going to bitch about it? I mean, normally people would be complaining that they lost to somebody with a villain quirk. And saying, hmm, tell me, what is your quirk after all? And saying, why don't you tell me yours? It only seems fair. And she's saying, fine then. My quirk is called lock on. I'm able to lock on to people and to things easier than normal people. To me, things are, if they were going, to me, if people or things are going faster than to, uh, to the normal eye, to me, they're just going to the regular speed and are, e- are probably even slower to normal people. I'm able to counter, catch, or even re- predict, predict what anyone would do, based on, based on me locking on to them. As Izuki saying, "Well, that's pretty goddamn OP, if I do say so." As saying, "It pretty much is, but there's only one downside. I can't lock on to multiple people. I can only lock on to to one person." Or one thing at a time. To that, I'm useless in a fight with multiple people. As she's saying, huh, guess that makes sense. So tell me, so that's how you've learned all those grappling techniques to make up for the fact that you can't really fight multiple people at the same time. Makes sense. And I respect that. As she blushes a little bit, saying, Thank you, but as for your quirk, as saying you're right, my quirk is soul leader. I'm able to create darkness and manipulate and create fangs, claws, blades, all that stuff. But the main function of soul leader is draining people's energy. I can, as I can even extend the reach of soul leader and drain an entire group of people called Soul Devour. But it's slower than the normal Soul soul Eater since I'm doing multiple people at the same time. And it's still a more useful quirk and still more capable. You could submit enemy, you could submit villains more easier than normal people. If anything, you have the best quirk when it comes to putting villains into mission. Don't you agree? And Zeke's saying, yeah. But the school doesn't think that. They'll just think that I'll cheat my way by using Soul Eater constantly. But honestly, I hate using Soul Eater. I originally hated it ever since I was a kid. As saying, hmm, everyone can hate their quirk all they want, but it's a part of you. You could either accept, you could either continue to hate it and grow bitter at yourself, or Use it to your basic best qualifications, the best of your abilities, 
and overcome it and become and make it your own into your own way. As he's saying, huh, you know, you're really kind hearted for a girl that looks like she could kill me in five different ways, you know? And he's saying, uh, don't see me, don't think of me as some, some thug. I am lo- I am greater than that, Midoriya. But to be honest, you're, you are kind of cute in a way. After hearing that, she begins blushing. Cute? I'm cute, you say? As she begins stuttering, freaking out. <laughs> I think her and Yayi Rosie would get along pretty well. At any rate, you know, you're a pretty strong fighter. So we're going to be fighting each other in the sports festival, but I th- think we would grow a lot if, if we train together. Why don't you and I train? So, why not have that? Are you okay with that bullet? As she begins coming back to reality and realize what Izuku said, saying, I could grow to learn new grappling techniques. And with me fighting, tra- sparring with you, you should be able to learn new ways to use your, use your fighting style without having to lie on Soul Eater. Is, if anything, it's pretty beneficial. But there's only one problem. What if there's a chance that we fight each other or go against each other in the sports festival? We'll know each other's secrets. As saying, simple. There's still at least five more days before the sports festival, right? So, why don't we only use three days? And the the remaining two, we can just do that, train by ourselves. And whatever we learn, we can keep it secret from the others deal. After that, she thinks about it and says, fine, deal. As the two shake, the next, the next couple of hours, the two of them train together and learn from each other. Izuku began learning new techniques to weigh to counter and to increase the distance of Soul Leader while using it into a defensive way, while Bullet begins learning new ways to Lock on grapple techniques and submission, and in new submission techniques as well. While also, while also figuring out how to, to increase our lock on percentage, by by targeting multiple things at the same time. But it's not going well. But it's, but it's going okay. Other than that, the two begin actually growing fond of each other as well as not just not just as rivals but as friends after that time spent the two actually grown grown to like one another such as that the two split their ways as saying you know I'm going to miss actually training with you but even so a deal's a deal right as she's saying of course but I do look forward to training, fighting with you in the sports festival, but as a friend instead of just a rival. After that, the two shake hands and she says, Sarah Izunia, as saying, as Izuku wonders, what? Sarah Izunia, that's my name. As, don't, really? Huh. And she's saying, what? I'm just surprised. I've been used to calling you Bullet. I totally forgot to ask you what your real name was again. You know what? I'll just stick to calling you Bullet. And saying, hmm, so you should. After that, she... And also, while Izuku's walking away, saying, Besides, it suits you. And make an awesome hero name as well. As she begins blushing once more and thanks thank you Midoriya and that's it thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed the video please tell me what you guys think in the comments below hope you guys enjoyed the inclusion of bullets to being part of class 1b and tell me what you guys think at any rate this is Leon Mookie signing out later